Welcome to the InOcean booth, CES 2017. Um, I'm going to be talking about some of the self-powered wireless devices that we have here to show today. Um, we specialized, originally, historically over our history, we've specialized in self-powered wireless devices. And in order to accomplish that, we had to create our own wireless uh, protocol, which was the InOcean radio protocol, which has been very successful uh, over the years for InOcean. Um, however, recently, over the last few years, we've sort of decided to go back to our roots, which is to be an energy harvesting company. So we have become radio agnostic, essentially, where now we are working with uh, some of the different various radio protocols that exist uh, within the world. So we're working with, uh, for example, Zigbee and Bluetooth um, to power some of the different devices. So quickly, I'll go through some of the different methods with where we uh, gather the energy in order to power the different radios, and uh, then we'll focus on some of the different applications that those are being used in. So, for example, inside some of our uh, light switches, we use a linear motion harvester, which is simply just a copper coil inside a magnet. And uh, by moving this copper coil approximately two millimeters, we generate enough energy uh, to produce the radio signals that we're looking for to signal a change or a control or some sort of message in order to uh, manipulate and uh, modify some of the different uh, points that we're looking to control. It can be a variety of things. We do have approximately 1,500 products in the marketplace currently, and so it, it varies depending on what your, app, what your personal application is. Um, these particular devices are actually built into certain things, such as light switches, and uh, they come in about 150 different styles. So we have European styles and North American styles both. Um, and then uh, the other way that we, one of the other ways that we harvest energy, uh, aside from motion, is uh, through solar. So we use indoor light, we use artificial light in order to uh, capture enough energy to be able to produce, again, the same power that we need to, uh, to send a variety of control signals or information wirelessly um, across uh, to different platforms. So for example, here we have a, a temperature and humidity sensor. Uh, this can either sit on a desk or a table. Uh, or it can be mounted on the wall uh, through a different method of configuration, so we can set it up that way. Um, and temperature and humidity is very common for us. We have quite a few applications where, where we monitor temperature and humidity, uh, thermostat applications, that type of thing. And then uh, the third way that we harvest energy is through temperature differentials. So where we have a, a temperature differential between, say, uh, a, a ductwork or a pipe that's hot and an airspace that's cold or room temperature, we can harvest that energy in order to uh, power different things, and that can be uh, things such as motors to open and control valves. It can also be uh, a method of uh, simply harvesting the energy to communicate the status of that pipe or the temperature of that pipe, uh, that type of thing. So we partner with a lot of different companies. So uh, for example, we partner with Philips for the, uh, for the Hue Tap. And uh, this has been, uh, is now offered in the, in the Apple stores around the world. And this can control the Hue bulbs that are out there available. Um, so and this is, again, no batteries, completely self-contained and self-powered. There's no maintenance required for this. And it's basically got uh, the, you know, the module built inside of it. So um, we've got the method of, of powering that without ever having to put a battery in it. So we've, we've partnered with uh, groups like Kasambi here, where we can actually take and uh, communicate directly with uh, their controller in order to turn uh, their LEDs on and off. And we can also configure scenes and do different, uh, different portions of, uh, of the Kasambi lighting circle uh, with using these switches. And these switches are all uh, BLE, or Bluetooth Low Energy. Um, so we've got also the Zicato system here as well. And we can communicate directly with the Zicato uh, system going on as well. So I can make this, this light brighter and dimmer. Um, I, can, I can then bring it back down to a lower level and I can stop it wherever I want. So I'm using the, again, the completely self-powered switch. There's no batteries or maintenance required for this switch. So uh, we can do that. And then uh, of course we can also communicate back to some of the, the bigger platforms such as uh, IBM Watson. We can com configure back to uh, the Apple HomeKit, and uh, we've got all sorts of different platforms we can go back to, BACnet and other BMS systems, and uh, different things like that. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. We've got the three different radio protocols now that we work with. The Ocean Radio Protocol, of course, which runs uh, at various sub one gig frequencies. And then we've got uh, the uh, Zigbee and the Bluetooth that we're working with. 
And of course, we'd always be interested in uh, working with you if you have uh, a various radio, a different radio protocol that uh, we could evaluate and understand if it's if it runs at a low enough power to operate under the self-powered, helping you eliminate batteries from any of your devices, which is our goal at the end of the day.